Hey, I'm Andy, and this is Cave Blazers, and I received a key to this game, so I figured I might as well try this out. And it's an uh, action-focused platformer roguelite set in a fantasy world. And it's kind of like Spelunky mixed with Risk of Rain, at least based off the Steam page, which I'll link to in the description down below for those that are interested. So let's get right to it. And I don't know how this plays, but like I said, it looks like a Risk of Rain and Spelunky, so it's, uh, it's gonna be hard. Legend spoke of this place. A remote cave which is said to hold unimaginable power. So yeah, I might die a lot. So some say the cave leads to a better life, while others insist you will find nothing but death. Probably death for me. Because if you see my other platforming videos, uh, what truly lies within these cave walls? Yeah, if you see my other platforming videos, I do not do well, so I, I don't think I'm going to do well in this, but we'll see what happens. Uh, press A to jump, hold to jump higher. Alright, so standard platforming stuff. Uh, press select to toggle your inventory and right bumper to pick up items. Alright, so there is an inventory system. What is that? Ah, another adventurer. And what brings you here, kid? What have you heard about this place? Hundreds of adventurers come here, seeking fame, fortune, or power. None survive. Okay. So what makes you different, kid? Well, have you at least brought weapons with you? Press X to melee attack. Alright. Heh, <laughs> a rusty old sword. You won't get far with that. Use right stick to fire your ranged weapon. Oh, that, that's pretty fast. It won't be enough. You will fail, just like the rest of them. You will die. Probably. Uh, can I reach? What are you doing up here? Oh, I can't shoot you. Uh, I can't pick up anything here as well. Let's see what's on the other side. Outfitter. Oh, cool. So you can actually customize your uh, things, but uh, as you can see, they're all locked. Because oh, maybe not. Maybe just the helmets are locked. So let's go with. Let's go with. The Frizzy Fro. And with our facial hair. There's a lot of things I like I there's a lot of customizations for for the character, which is pretty surprising for me. Let's do mutton chops. And let's do with our hair color. Oh, there's some colors locked too. Let's just do golden. The golden fro. And we can just do none, no top. Now we can, in theory, do no bottom as well, but let's just do black breeches. Alright, let's, uh, is there anything up here? Perks. What's perks? Start with an apple and two bombs. Might as well. Journal entry, perk shrine. Uh, perk shrine. At this shrine, you can select a perk before entering the cave, so that's pretty cool. If you unlock more perks, I guess you can... Uh, you will have an easier time in the cave, so here goes nothing. Caves, level one. Hey, down there. I need your help. Get up here, fella. Okay. Oh, so you can jump the walls. I didn't even know that. You see those slimes down there? They're giving me a real hard time. I'm pretty beaten up. Can you take care of them? Uh, I thought it was, it was every person for themselves, but... Alright. I'll just shoot them with my range. Hey, great job! Hey, listen. I found these boots. They're a little large for me. I've always had pretty tiny feet. But hey, it's not the size that matters, right? It's what you do with it. So the sp uh, here you take him. So the speech is kind of like, it reminds me of Magicka, so... Alright, so I do have an- oh, I got an achievement. So I do have an ally with me, so... Uh, when charged, press left bump to use magic items. Equip magic items through your inventory. Uh, Alright, so let's equip that. Yeah, the music's really nice too, and like, the, the installation size for this game was like only 27 megabytes. It's really... I wasn't expecting it to be that small, but I mean, like like the person says, it's not the size that matters, right? It's what you do with it. Alright, there's a shrine here. 
Oh, we can open boxes. All right. All right. Uh, this seems pretty straightforward. Oh, not enough gold. So this maybe it's like those risk of rain shrines where you can pay gold to get something. Maybe I'm, I'm not quite sure. But it looks like the followers stuck for them. I don't know. Can we jump? Yeah, we can. All right. Cool. And the slide just killed himself on the spikes. Alright. Oh, there's a goblin right there. Alright. There's a chest up there, so I'm gonna risk myself to get that. Alright. We got 12 gold, so that's not enough to get that whatever the... what's in that statue. But we got we got something. Oh, I keep pressing start instead of back. So we got a battle brew. Temporarily increases your melee damage by five, increases your maximum health by five, and restores health restores ten health. When thrown, creates a small glass with suspense nearby entities in the stasis for five seconds. Okay, and the apple is just for health. All right. Now, I don't know if I can dig, but maybe that's a thing for later. But so far, it seems pretty fun. Uh, it does remind me of Splunky a bit because you are going cave hunting, but uh, that's a goblin. Wanna... Alright, can we pick that? No, we can't. And the graphics remind me of Risk of Rain a little bit, so that's pretty cool. That's a lot of goblins. Out my face. And I guess the fire hurt? The fire doesn't hurt. Okay. So I don't know like what what the end goal is because uh, it probably says in the Steam page and I just probably uh, skimmed it over. There's a lot of things down there, and I need to heal up, so I'm gonna eat that apple. Oh, did, did my adventurer die? I, I think my adventurer died. I think my adventure died. Uh, that's a shame. <laughs> All right, 125, 124 gold for a sapphire ring. I only have 40 gold, so I don't know what the ring does, so I'm not gonna get it. All right, yeah, this is pretty tough for even for the. I mean, I'm probably just bad at platforming. So there's a goblin tribe over here. Well, let's let's go gung ho. And I don't think that was worth it because there's just uh, I didn't get any gold. <laughs> All right, so not fallen spikes. And yeah, I don't know if you can dig or not, but uh, oh, I do have the boots, but all right. No, don't die. All right, there's a chest up there. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna try and get that chest at the very least. Ooh, that's some health. That's a heart. Uh, consume this to regain. Okay, we're just gonna eat the heart then. Uh, might as well because I need health. There we get a ring. A poison ring. And there's a ring down here. Emerald ring. Ow, that hurt. Oh, there's a there's an item over there too, so let's see. Uh, equipable. Ring of thorns. Plus two melee damage. Plus 25 poison damage. Or 25%. Plus one melee damage. I need the I need the emerald ring. Like, oh, we can equip two rings. That's cool. All right, let's. Uh... Ow! I need more hearts. What is this? It is a sticky bomb. Okay, it's a throwable. Oh, now we have the gold. That's pretty cool. Uh, fiery. Blade, Blessing, the Blessing of Sorcery, Blessing of the Aerial Light. I'm gonna go with the Fiery Blade. And I, I assume that gives us a chance of burning entities with melee hits, that's pretty cool. Let's not, let's not hit the spikes. Alright. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, I didn't know that ex... Ooh. <laughs> so you can at least... There is <laughs> destructible environments. Alright, and I guess that's the way to the exit, alright. 
Now I'm gonna explore a little bit more first. Just because there's just more things to more gold to get and more things to learn. Alright, let's see what's in these. More money, I like money. So I guess in theory you can try no, no, no. Let's just go go into the door. Alright, level two. Or temple approach level two. Alright, uh oh I, 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 so it doesn't pause when you're in the inventory. That's pretty uh if you're trying to change things, it's kind of uh kind of a hectic thing because it doesn't pause and there's enemies chasing after you. More money. The music's really nice, I like it. Even though it's like a it get, it fits the mood I think. Alright. Well, you're still at low health, so I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of need health bad. Oh, we got a flask there. So we got Brawler Blessing, Black Potion, or a Fire Arrow Blessing. I need a Brawler. I'm, I'm just going all melee. That might be a bad idea, but uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, let's pick up this black potion. What is the black potion? A dark black? I mean, we can drink it. Do I dare drink it? I'm gonna drink it. Oh, plus two magic damage. Okay. I am not gonna hit you. Or if I am, it's gonna be... Bombo. Let's see, what was what it? Uh, causes small explo- Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna equip that. That seems like a better... I don't know. There probably is splash damage in there. There probably is splash damage. But I'm not, I don't want to find that out the hard way, so... Man, I just need a time... I need a time that so I can just kill... Okay, there we go. So that's one bomb down. Oh, there is splash damage. I didn't know. I didn't know. I mean, I guess in the back of my mind I knew, but uh, yeah. All right, where's the door? Or can we get back out? Like, can we uh, escape the cave, or are we just stuck here until we get to the end goal? I'm gonna go back and see if there's like a. All right, there's a person there. Probably another adventurer, maybe. Alright, let's try and go back to the door, which we can't. Okay, so that was a fruitless effort. Alright, we can check where the other person is going though, maybe? Or, yeah, uh, let's see. Alright, are you, are you a friend? I think you're a friend because I can't kill you. Man, I wish there was a, there was more ways to get some hearts. I need some hearts. What's up here? And it's an altar. What, uh, let's see, start to view. What's an altar? These large stone platforms have one particular magic property, the power to combine two items to create a massively superior item. The effect occurs when two identical items are placed on the surface of the altar and works with most weapons along with certain other items. So that's cool. Alright. Uh, wish I can mark all these as new, but uh, it is what it is. So I guess uh, you're a friendly person. Alright. Uh, let's see if you're gonna kill the- okay, you are. That's cool. And- oh, oh, I died. Game over. How much progress do we make? Oh! We've unlocked the gray waistcoat. Or maybe even more? The orange top, ooh. <laughs> so I don't know how it, what, it, how much points uh, per progression it means, so maybe, I guess that's how uh, it tracks the progression, I think, so. Let's just continue. That was a, I think that was a terrible first time, but that was my first time of playing Cave Blazers. Uh, like I said, uh, the developer gave me the key to try it out. It's really fun. It does remind me of... Ooh, we can go up there. That's a... Is that a little Easter egg? 
but I can't I can't seem to jump higher. So yeah, let's see. Let me try to get up there again. All right, uh, was it bunch of rags? Unlock the olive robe. Ooh. So it was like an Easter egg, I think. A brown dashiki. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of things in here. Red suspenders. Gray headband. And this is just a corpse, so we just took the corpse's clothes. Alright, so that is Cave Blazers. I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those that are interested. I think it's $9.99 if it's not on sale. So yeah, if you like Spelunky, if you like Risk of Rain, uh, I would recommend this game because it reminds me a lot of both, and it's really cool. Like the, there's an inventory system. There's a, it seems really in depth with how you get things, at least perks wise and uh, outfitter wise. So, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of what is this daily? Oh, a daily run. So there's dailies in here too, apparently. So yeah, there's a lot of replayability in this game. So yeah, I, I highly recommend it if you want to try it out. Um, the Steam page, I'll link to it in the description down below for those that are interested. This was Cave Blazers, and thank you for watching, and have a nice day!